Hey everybody, I'm Dean Banowitz, Hollywood Hair Guy. Today I'm gonna to teach you how to do a little retro bump. First thing you wanna do is, I always locate the ear, and I'm just gonna take a section from the top of the head to the ear, and section that away. And do the exact same thing on the other side. Now this is a really quick style, but it looks like it took you forever to do. Now with this back section, what I want to do is just do a high ponytail. Once you have it the perfect height, go ahead and put your ponytail in. So now once you have that done, we're going to take and section out the temples. So best rule of thumb is center of the eye up. Going to section that. And then on this side, the same. So we're going to take this section. And with this, I just clip this aside. I'm gonna take this section up and wrap it around the ponytail. And I'm gonna secure with a bobby pin. So we have a little bit of that fullness. So we'll just twist this and create a shignan on the top of the head. And this you just want to twist, and get it all secured and pin it down. Now with this section right here, this is going to really help to create that retro pomp. Just take a section. You can give it a little shot of hairspray and then really back comb this. When you think it's done, keep doing it. Nothing's ever done till it's overdone with this hairstyle. So you really want to create a lot of body, a lot of texture, and you literally want it to stand up. I know it looks a little cray cray right now, but it's going to be epic. So again, really concentrate on getting a lot of really great back combing in because we really want to incorporate these shorter bangs into the full retro texture. So now before I do anything else, you can see it's a little cock a doo 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 ish which is fine because we're going to just smooth it down and really create a great pompadour. I'm just going to smooth out the texture all around the top making sure not to comb through really deep or brush through really deep to lift out any of that back combing because we really want to make sure that it stays secure. So we just spray and smooth. So now this area right here seems a little limp to me and I don't like limp things. So I'm going to make it stronger with some more back combing. So just dig right in there, take this piece out, back comb. And I do love this K-Pack protective hairspray. You can just you spray it, it's really amazing because it's not too sticky, which is key. Glide it through, and you can see it's already made it stiffer. It's gonna be epic. You wanna go over that chignon that you just created. And you're literally just gonna twist this And what I like to do is just tuck and pin. So now if you're feeling like, oh, this is way too big, you have the power to make it a little bit smaller if you want and just smooth it down. But this is what's gonna make it more dramatic, tons more drama. And when you look down, you can see this great silhouette that's starting to happen. Great place for a flower, great place for an ornament. And there you have your retro pomp. Mm -hmm. 